We can get started whenever this fucking thing stops smoking. Okay, so since we just made those beautiful slivered croutons and it's freezing outside, today's a great day to make some French onion soup. A traditional favorite in restaurants since, who knows, the 1950s. All I'm going to do here is start with a hot pan, a little bit of olive oil, you can use vegetable oil as well, maybe about three tablespoons there. I'm going to use two whole slivered onions. I just uh, cut them in half and then slivered them all the way through like that. And all we're going to do is start sauteing our onions. Last year my mom sent me these French onion soup bowls, kind of corny, a few of them are still alive, so I'm going to use this for a French onion soup bowl. If you don't have a crazy mom like I do, and you didn't get that as a gift, try and use a wide open mouth teacup like this. We'll get the job done as well. I'm also going to turn on my oven because I'm going to finish this soup, so I don't really want to be waiting for that afterwards. The oil is sort of uh, coating all of the onion. They usually only put flour in cream soups, but traditionally they do put a little bit of flour in the onions. A bit of coloring and adding a little bit of viscosity to the broth. Okay, so we're doing a really fast method for making French onion soup, and I'm assuming you don't happen to have a beef stock hanging around your fridge. Pretty normal for apartment living. So what I'm going to do is put in my powdered beef stock right now, and maybe about two tablespoonfuls, and I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. I'm not really adding salt because I'm not sure the full effect of how salty that stock is, so we're just going to taste that later on. Let's beat up that stock, get it coating these onions. And what you end up here is with a caramelized onion mixture. Really flavorful, but of course we're not done. So we're going to use water. If I did happen to have a stock, I wouldn't be using water. I'd be using my stock instead of the water and the powder base, but as I said, not many people have that. Okay, I put about six cups of water into that mixture, and now all we have to do is bring that to a simmer. Let's grab a lid. What the hell? There we go. Okay, so we've got our simmering action going here, and this is completely done. Wow, you know what? That is really good. If I have a great tasting broth, I'm throwing on some tasty croutons and some nice cheese, you're not going to go wrong. It's going to taste great. So I'll bring my bowl over here. You want something underneath your French onion soup because you really don't want to be handling this in the oven because it gets pretty hot. By ladle. And you're pretty much filling it up nine tenths of the way. And now we're going to take some of our awesome croutons lay those on top. You don't really have to dunk these. They're going to do all the work by themselves because as they soak up water they're just going to come to the top naturally. I have provolone cheese here which I'm going to be using and uh, you can use virtually any type of cheese but what you kind of want to be looking for is something that has a little bit of stringy gooeyness to it. So it should be a mozzarella. The traditional French cheese is actually Gruyere, I think. But, you know, again, who has that in their fridge laying around? Gruyere and Emmental and Fribourg. You pretty much always have some sort of mozzarella or white cheese. So there we go. Just a little bit on top. And I'm also going to sprinkle, just for a little bit of color, just a few herbs like that. I'm going to switch my oven to grill. Slide that soup in like that. Do not forget your French onion soup in the oven. Bad things will happen. Everything is going to disintegrate into slime. Oh. My. God. Can you believe how good that looks? And we got some nice gooey cheese action going here too, so... Perfect. Now when you serve it, make sure you put some parsley on top. Just some fresh little leaves. If you don't have parsley, then honestly, don't even bother making French onion soup. Dude, I'm just fucking with you. Your French onion soup's gonna be awesome without the parsley. It doesn't really matter. Oh, man. This is so good for a cold winter day. That's about the best thing I had all week. Okay, kids, take care. See you next time. Ciao.